Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have something truly groundbreaking to unveil the Tendero 35km outdoor router. LED indicators and slats land slash when. On solid on status, the power is supplied to the device properly and no data is being transmitted. On blinking status, the power is supplied to the device properly and the port is transmitting or receiving data. Then off status, no power is supplied to the device. LED 1, LED 2, LED 3, signal strength LED 1. Solid on status, the device is working in a P, repeater, P2MP or router mode and connected to wireless clients. If the device is automatically connected to the other one, it is set to AP mode. LED 1, LED 2 and LED 3 are solid on, perfect signal. LED 1 and LED 2 are solid on, and LED 3 is off, good signal. LED 1 is solid on, and LED 2 and LED 3 are off, weak signal. Please adjust the direction or location of the two devices. Blinking status, the device is working in client, universal repeater or WISP mode, and connected to a remote AP. If the device is automatically connected to the other one, it is set to client mode. Off status, the device is not connected to a wireless client or a remote AP. Wall mounting slots used for wall mounting. You should prepare four expansion bolts and four screws for wall mounting. Recommended specifications. Expansion bolt. Outer diameter, 6 mm. Length, 40 mm screw. Par 3A strix 20 mm, 5.5 mm less than head diameter less than 8.5 mm. Ports buttons 1, GND. Grounding terminal. Use the included grounding screw and cable to connect the device's grounding terminal. RST. After the device is powered on for one minute, hold down this button for about eight seconds. LAN. 10 by 100 Mbps automatic negotiation IJ45 port. Used to connect to a switch, computer, or other wired devices. PoE LAN slash WAN. PoE power input and data transmission port. If the device works in router mode, it is a WAN port. Otherwise, it is a LAN port. Use the included pot injector to supply power to the device. Ethernet cable inlet. Application scenario 1. Set up the device's method 1. Automatic bridging, recommended. Peer-to-peer -peer bridging. Place the two devices next to each other. Uncover the housing of each device and use the included PoE injectors to power up the two devices. Wait until the LAN slash when LED indicators of the devices light up. Wait for the two devices to negotiate and connect to each other automatically peer to multiple peers bridging. Perform peer-to-peer -peer bridging to bridge any two devices. Within 30 minutes after peer-to-peer -peer bridging succeeds. When the LED 1, LED 2 and LED 3 indicators of them are blinking, the bridging of all other CPS succeeds. Method 2. Set up the device using Web UI Step 1. Place the two devices next to each other. Step 2. Connect the computer to CPE 1. Uncover the housing of CPE 1. Use an Ethernet cable to connect the PoE LAN slash WAN port of CPE 1 to the PoE port of the PoE injector. Use the included power adapter to connect the PoE injector to a power socket. Use an Ethernet cable to connect your computer to the LAN port of the PoE injector. Step 3. Set CPE 1 to AP mode start a web browser on the computer and visit 192.168. 2.1 select AP and click Next set an SSID, click Next. Click Save and wait until the device reboots automatically to activate the settings. Step 4. Set CPE2 to client mode. Connect the computer to CPE1 to connect the computer to CPE2 start a web browser on your computer and visit 192.168. 2.1. Enter the login username and password select client and click next. Select the SSID of CP1 you set and click next. Enter the Wi-Fi password you set on CP1 in the key text box and click next. Set the IP address to an unused IP address belonging to the same network segment as that of CP1. Click save and wait until the device reboots to activate the settings. Install the device us. The device with LED 1, LED 2 and LED 3 solid on should be connected to the switch connecting to a network video recorder. The device with LED 1, 
LED E2 and LED3 blinking should be connected to the switch connecting to a monitoring IP camera. Procedures. Place the transmitter in the open air at the point where the NVR is located. Place the receiver in the open air at the point where the IP camera is located. Uncover the housings of the two devices and connect the PoE LAN slash WAN ports of the devices to the PoE ports of PoE injectors respectively. Use the included power adapters to connect the PoE injectors to power sockets. Adjust the two devices direction or location until the LED1, LED2 and LED3 of the two devices light up. Use the pole mounting straps to attach the two devices to the poles respectively. Application Scenario 2 Wireless ISP Hotspot Access Step 1 Connect the computer to the device. Step 2 Set the device to WISP mode. Select WISP and click Next. Select the SSID of your ISP, enter the Wi-Fi password of your ISP, click Next. Select the internet connection type of your ISP hotspot. Customize the SSID and key and click Next. Set an IP address belonging to different network segment as that of your ISP hotspot. Click Save and wait until the device reboots to activate the settings. When LED1, LED2 and LED3 of the device are blinking, the device is connected to your ISP hotspot successfully. Install the device us. Place the device at open air. Uncover the housings of the device and connect the PoE LAN slash WAN port of the device to the PoE port of the PoE injector. Use the included power adapter to connect the PoE injector to a power socket. Connect the LAN port of the PoE injector to the WAN port of your wireless router. Adjust the device's direction or location on the selected pole until the LED1, LED2 and LED3 of the device light up. Use the pole mounting straps to attach the device to the pole. Grounding Connect the GND terminal of the CPE to a grounding terminal connected to the earth or building to protect the CPE from overvoltage and overcurrent caused by lightning. Connect one side of the grounding cord to the included grounding screw. Connect the grounding screw to the GND terminal of the CPE and tighten it. Connect the other side of the grounding cord to the grounding terminal connected to the earth or building. If you want to stay up to date with the latest tech trends and reviews, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our future content. See you in the next one.